Hello all. Welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Java interview questions. That is, write a Java program to intake any string and print the occurrence of each character in the string. So, let me answer this question with practical demonstration. For that, I will switch to this Eclipse ID. In this Eclipse ID, I am going to create a new class. I'll just name this as, let's say, program4. You can give any name. With main method, I'll create. Inside the main method, I'm going to write the code. First, I would like to intake the string from the user. Okay? So for that, I'll create an object for the scanner class. Scanner scanner is equal to new scanner. And here, inside the constructor, I'll type system.in. Pour the mouse on the scanner and import the scanner from java.detail package. And here, do the next thing that is you have to ask the user to enter any string system.out.println enter any string text okay by looking at this particular print statement in the output console the user will try to enter some text okay so that text i would like to capture here string str is equal to or string input okay user input or whatever you want to write here you can write whatever you want guys okay string user input is equal to scanner dot next line after collecting the input from the user, I would like to close the scanner object. Scanner dot close. That's it. Okay. This part is done. We have collected the input from the user. Using these four lines, we have collected the input in the form of string format from the user and stored into this user input thing. Next thing is that next thing is that this user input, okay, this particular user input should uh, let me for betterment case for this particular programming logic, guys, to find how many number of occurrences of each character is there. What if, you know, uh, capital A and lowercase a should be considered same, okay? If you don't do that, if you don't do whatever I'm suggesting here, what will happen here is capital A will be considered as a, will be considered different from the lowercase a. If you, if you want them to be considered different, you don't have to do anything, but if you want them to be considered same, then here, after, uh, after collecting the input from the user, right, before storing into the user input, convert this into two lowercase. Okay, whether it is uppercase or lowercase, everything will get converted to the lowercase, guys. That's one thing you can do. Okay, before counting how many occurrence of the characters in the string text are there, each and every string uh, characters in the string text are there. So if you don't want to differentiate capital with the lower, then better to use two lowercase. If you if you want to differentiate, then no need to use this one. Okay, then next one is if any spaces are there, I don't want to count how many spaces are there. So I'll write down here replace all, and here regular expression. To remove the spaces from that string text, I'll remove this, okay? Just give the empty, wherever the spaces are there, re replace them with empty, empty string, okay? Empty. That means you have to remove the spaces symbol. So the uh, user input, which is entered by the user, which contains some spaces or which is in upper and lower case will be completely converted to lower case and stored into the user input, okay? This is how we are modifying the user input a bit. And after that, what I have to do, the next thing that I have to do here is, whatever the user input have taken right that user input have to convert into the character array user input dot to care array so the return type will be character array okay here i'll say c a r r character array over the mouse over the mouse on this c a r r and uh, create local with the return type of the do care array that is character array will come here now i'll write a for each loop for each and every character in this user input for each and every character which got converted to the character array as part of the user input right i'll write the for each loop here that is for each and every character for each and every character i want to do something okay so what i will do here is what exactly i'll do here is first i will create something known as a map case okay why i'm taking map i'll tell you in map right even though you have duplicate characters okay the latest character uh, in map in this map, we can have key and value pairs. In the key, you can have, you cannot have duplicate keys. Values can be duplicated, but the val, uh, keys cannot be duplicated in the map. So with that logic, I'm picking maps for this purpose to identify how many character occurrences are there. I'm going to take the help of the map. The reason behind that is the keys need to be unique in map. So character, every character, you know, if it is repeated also should be one time only in the map. Okay. The duplicate characters cannot be stored here. Only one character will be stored in the form of keys and whose occurrences I will store in the value. 
for that to happen, I'll write the logic like this. Per character will be of character type, right? And the value will be of integer type. How many occurrence of the character will be an integer type? Map is equal to new hash map. Key and value pairs will be there, guys. And you provide the circular brackets here. We put a semicolon here and hold the mouse on this and import. Hold the mouse on this and import. Already I converted this user input into the character array here. As you already know, I converted the user input into the character array. From this character array, the, the characters I will take, okay, the unique characters I will take and store into the this key part of the map. Oh, that's what I'm trying to do here. So here I'll write the logic like this for each and every character in this character array. For each and every character in this uh, character array, I'll iterate. Okay, for each and every character will be char, okay, char c colon c a r. Okay, for each and every character in the character array, I'll iterate this for loop. And accordingly, what I will do, guys, accordingly, what I will do. So here, I'll write something into this map. I'll add this character map dot put. This logic is very, this line is very important for you to understand, guys. I'll write map dot put. Like this, I have to provide the character that is C, this particular character. And if you are adding the same character again, what will happen, guys? Keys need to be unique, right? Keys need to be unique in the map. Hence, even though you add this character any number of times, latest value of that particular character will be cultured. Okay. So that is the logic we are using. And here I'm going to write map dot. Okay. This particular character he is there in the map how many times? Okay. I'll just write whatever it is. So for example, map dot put C, I'm providing C, that character, whatever the C. I'll explain this again, don't worry. Map dot get or default kind of method is there, guys. If you know about this method, you'll understand what I'm trying to do here. Again, I'm saying map dot get off. As part of the value, I'm writing this line. Map dot get or default of C. What does it mean? So whatever the characters that is uh, retrieved from this character array, right? that particular character, Okay, that particular character in the map, okay, is already there in the map or not. If it is already there, what is this? What is its value? If it is not there, take consider the value as zero. Okay, I'm writing like this. Get or default means either get the value of this character C, okay, this key value, this particular key's value you have to get, whatever the value that is. If already this character, this is the first iteration, right? Mostly what will happen map dot get or default of C means this particular character is getting added to the map for the first time. So that means this character will not be there in the map. Hence default value will be considered as zero. Okay. Default value will be considered as zero. If zero comes, I'll just say plus one. Okay. For the first time, that means I'm getting zero, but for the first time I'm adding this character means one occurrence of the character is there. So I have to make this plus one. In the next iteration, if the same character comes, in that, again, if you're trying to add the same character, old character will be replaced by this uh, latest character. Duplicate keys will be ignored, right? The latest key will be considered. And uh, and while doing that, what value will be set? You get the previous character. Already one is being assigned there. That one will be retrieved. One plus one, two will be there. The current value of the character, the same character C will become two. Second occurrence of the character. Like that, I'm trying to write the logic case. If the character is, not, is, is getting added to the uh, key part of the map for the first time, the, uh, the one value will be assigned, okay? For second time means the previous value will be taken and one will be added so that second occurrence will be coming. If the same character is added for third time, here two will come, two plus one, three. The value of that particular character uh, key will in the particular map will be three in that case. Like that, guys, we are writing this logic to make that possible. Now, the thing here is I'm going to print out this map, guys. I want to print this map, okay? System.out.println. I'll just say map. That's it. Okay. Just print this map after counting all occurrence of the character. Just print this map and say in the output what is happening. Rightly run as the obligation. And here enter some text that is Arun space Motori. Okay. Here I'm giving space. Here I'm giving uppercase, lower cases, and all the stuff. Press enter. Now you got the output. How many times A is there? Whether it is lowercase or uppercase A, it will be converted to lowercase. And one time it is there. Throughout all this, A is only one time. Then R. What about R? R is two times here one plus here another one. R is coming as two. Then what is T? T is one time. U is one time. T is one time. U is one time. I is one time. I is also one time. M is one time. Only M one name. N is also one time. Whereas O, O is three times. O, 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 three times. It's working perfectly fine. Spaces are also not considered. Spaces were not considered because we have 
removed the space, we have converted into lower case. So that's why all the lower cases are getting printed. Okay, all the upper cases are converted to lower case uh, and printed. If you don't, if you want them to be different, right? You can you can modify the logic here. Okay, you don't have to put two lower case here. That's the only thing. But it's better to put lower case, but because the interviewer will expect this part. I feel okay. And next thing is that map you, map you understood, right? For example, if the user has entered Arun Motori, what will happen with this logic? The user has entered Arun Motori as a input text. Then what will happen in the Arun Motori? Capital A will be there. That already got converted into lower case total arun motor lower case a will be there lower case a will be there uh, the character array will contain the index zero position value as uh, lower case a that lower case a will be assigned here it will be like this guys okay this will be like this a r u n m o t o o r and i it will be like this in that first character a will be assigned here for the first iteration that is a okay map dot put off what is c guys here c is nothing but this particular lower case letter a a comma map dot get or default off in the existing map any a is already added currently you are adding but previously it's not added so get or default means if if the value is there it will get the value otherwise it will take zero only so zero will be retrieved here zero plus one means one the current value of a will be what? A will become 1. For example, I'll modify here. A is equal to 1 will be there. The next what will happen? The next letter R will be assigned here. R will be added. Put off R. R is also for the first time. So 0 plus 1. So R also will become 1. For the first time means, for the first time if you are adding means it will be 1. Then in the next, U will be coming. U, U will be and uh, get out default U. For the first time you are adding means U is equal to 1. Then N, what about N? N also for the first time N will be add 1. M is also for the first time, M is 1. O is also for the first time, O is 1. T is also for the first time, T is equal to 1. Then O is, in the second uh, in the next iteration, O will be added here. O is already there. So O and map dot get our default of O means it's already there. O is already there as 1. So this will get, this not get 0 here. This time it will get 1. 1 plus 1 will become 2. Now O will become 2. Okay, O will become 2. This O will go off. This O will go off and this O will become 2. Then another O is coming. Another O is means already map dot get or default of O means already O is 2 here. So that 2 plus 1 becomes 3. So current value of O will become 3. This will go off. Okay, let's say. Then R. R is already there. Second time. So already 1 will come here. 1 plus 1, 2. R will become 2 here. The old R will go off. Old R will go off. Let's say like this. Then I. I is also 1. So this should be the output guys. A is equal to 1, U is equal to 1, N is equal to 1, M is equal to 1, T is equal to 1. Order will be different, but you know, the values will be 3, 2. Okay, only for R it will be 2 and uh, O it will be 3. Remaining all 1s will be there. You see, this is the perfect answer we got guys. Hope you got the idea and understood the logic, how to write the Java logic, uh, you know, for finding the number of occurrences of each and every character in the given string text by the user. So with practical demonstration and theoretical explanation, I have answered this question for you. You can take the screenshot of this particular code, guys. You can take the screenshot of this code and you know you can practice in your machine. Okay, you can take the screenshot of this code and practice this logic in your machine to get the answer for this particular question. Okay, so hope guys you have taken the screenshot of this course. So guys, with uh, practical demonstration and theoretical explanation, I've answered this question for you. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.